everybody. This is Joe Joseph, and this is the DailySheeple.com's News Shot. I want to go to the Telegraph, and I'll tell you what. Out of all the news publications out there in the mainstream, out of all of them out there, I like the Telegraph the most, only because they go to places, a lot of British media, as a matter of fact, and UK media goes to um, the places where most mainstream media outlets in the United States just don't go, and they make it headlines, and rightfully so, because look at folks. Whether or not you think this is good or bad, and I think it's both good and bad, there are things that are coming that are going to dramatically change our way of life. And this is evidence of one of those ways, and that has to do with AI and the advancement of robotic technology. Telegraph reporting that the robotic brain surgeon will see you now as the drill can perform complex procedures 50 times faster than man. Listen to this. Scientists has revealed a robotic drill that can cut the most sensitive brain surgery down from two hours to two and a half minutes. A machine developed by the University of Utah is being hailed as a potential breakthrough in survival for brain patients as the reduced time they spend in surgery will drastically cut the chances of infection. Researchers say that this can make one of the one type of complex cranial surgery 50 times faster than the standard procedure. They say the drill produces fast, clean, and safe cuts, reducing the time the wound is open and the patient anesthetized, pardon me, with all decreases, this all decreases the chance of human error. And look at folks, from from the standpoint of human survivability, this is a great thing. You know, uh, a machine can probably do things much more safely, much more accurately. It doesn't... uh, as it gets older, get the shakes, if you will, you know? So if you want something that's probably slam dunk, okay, you know, you go with the, go with the AI. The problem is as the AI learns and it will, and the robotics adapt to the different procedures that need to be done, more and more doctors will now be phased out of medicine. And there's a problem with that because how do you teach, at least at this point, how do you teach AI empathy, especially human empathy? And that's where I have the draw because you're going to see more and more of this happen where, you know, and and it's already happening in hospitals all across America, all across the globe, where doctors will take test results that have been ordered, feed them into a computer, and then the computer will uh, spit out a course of action and a diagnosis based on everything that you've put into it. And it's really taken the guesswork, I guess, out of, um, out of being a doctor. But more so than that, you know, it also makes things very vanilla. And the problem is human beings are not vanilla. We're not all vanilla. We're unique individuals. That's where you need that human interface. The, the ability to adapt and overcome to not seeing what you expect to see when you say open up a patient or when you read a set of test results. The ones that go out of parameters or, you know, out of line, tilt, tilt, all of that things that would cause the computer or cause the machine to not know what to do. Whereas human beings can kind of adapt on the fly. Now, we may not always be right, but we're not always wrong. And it's those times where we're wrong that we learn from our mistakes. Where AI right now is more concerned with learning by what's fed to it, its input. And human beings just don't work like that. Now, Elon Musk is talking about a human being AI symbiosis through his neural lace, where you'd have the best of both worlds. He says, because if we don't do this, If we don't merge man and machine, then human beings are going to be rendered obsolete and they'll be gone before you know it. We see the evidence now in the birth rates here across the, the, especially the developed world, where the the birth rates now have dropped well below 2.1 in some areas. And that's the minimum required to maintain your population. So there's a crisis afoot and nobody's paying attention to it. And AI, as helpful as it may be, 
is going to cause equal, if not more, hardship on humanity, and we're just not ready for it. I'm Joe Joseph. This was the DailySheeple.com's News Shot. Feel free to comment below and subscribe to our newsletter over at TheDailySheeple.com. Have a great day, everybody.